temperature is dropping and the days are getting shorter. Not everyone enjoys this time of year, but thousands of Canadians absolutely dread it. They suffer from seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. It's a deep depression caused by a lack of sunlight. But as Giselle Bernardo reports, there's scientific proof that SAD can be controlled without medication. June Kolji works in a downtown office tower. During the winter months, she doesn't get any direct sunlight. You just don't have as much energy. Your whole life kind of changes. June was diagnosed with seasonal affective disorder about 10 years ago. She's tried using a light box to stimulate a hormone in her brain that controls mood swings, but it didn't work. Then last December, June volunteered to take part in a research study at the University of Alberta to find out if this little gadget could pull people with SAD out of their depression. It's a brainwave driving device capable of calming or arousing the human brain. Within days, June was back to her old self. Within three days, I felt that when I woke up in the morning, I was felt refreshed uh, and ready to have the same energy that I had in the, with the summer light. And you can literally pull everyone out of, or most everyone out of, uh symptoms of SAD quite effectively. Dave Seaver developed the unit. He found all the participants in his research study felt happier, less anxious, and not as hungry. A number of the participants who did put on weight over the winter were putting on an average of 15 pounds every winter. And during the one month of the study, they lost nine and a half pounds. So we were very impressed with that. The results of the study will be presented at a psychology conference in South Carolina later this week with hopes the findings will be published in a medical journal. June's hoping with that kind of support, Alberta Health might cover the cost of the device. Otherwise, she'll have to pay $400 for the unit. Giselle Bernardo, ITV News. The device is also being tested on women who suffer from premenstrual syndrome. If you'd like to volunteer for that research study, call 450-3729. Well, the days are certainly short. We're getting darkness much earlier, and A-Channel's health specialist Chantel Huber is here to talk about how that could be affecting our health. I believe in this because I've been fighting some nasty bugs. Yeah, it affects us all differently, but what you're referring to is a, is a type of winter blues. It's called a seasonal affective disorder, and if left untreated, it can actually lead to depression. But tonight, we take a look at an alternative treatment that is showing promise for patients. Here we go. Here's our headgear. Lisa Murphy is having her brain waves assessed in hopes of receiving treatment. She suffers from seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. It stems from short days and a lack of light during the winter months and can lead to depression, anxiety, and extreme fatigue. In the winter time, all, I just want to hibernate. I just want to sleep all the time. Um, it's really difficult to keep going to work, to get up in the mornings, even when you sleep. Like Lisa, many people with SAD also experience carbohydrate cravings and weight gain. For the hundreds of people like Lisa Murphy, there is help. Some simple audio and visual technology is helping patients with SAD lead better lives. Lisa, what you're going to see are these flashing lights okay, in the eyes, and you're going to be hearing a bump, 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 bump kind of a sound. The technology is called a digital audio-visual integration device and involves using flashing lights and pulsing tones to stimulate the brain and regulate symptoms of SAD. The same technology was used in a study on 74 patients who wore the device for 20 minutes a day over a four-week period. Experts say the results are promising. We found that 100% actually of everyone improved in both depression and anxiety. Um, and most of them became clinically non-depressed. Patients were also found to have less cravings for carbohydrates and instead of weight gain, they lost an average of 10 pounds during the study. The study was very successful. I was actually very overjoyed. There's no uh, treatment that I know of that is as effective as this. I don't know what it's like to feel normal, so to me this is kind of normal. As for Lisa Murphy, she says she is hopeful the technology will help and says she can't wait to see if life will be like its summer every day of the year. The symptoms of seasonal affective disorder usually last until the end of February. Ann Schuster has the winter blues. It's actually called SAD, seasonal affective disorder, a depression caused by lack of sunlight. Last fall, she started using this device, and she noticed a big difference. First time I used it, it was sort of like lying in the bright sunshine. 
and that feels pretty good when you're outside lying on the grass in the bright sunshine. The flashing light unit emits white light at a synchronized speed. Researchers are trying to prove that if the device is used on a daily basis, it will increase the serotonin levels in the brain and reduce mood swings in people with SAD. Yeah, it's a, definitely a concern within this latitude of the country. Kathy Berg heads up the study. She's found the higher north you are, the greater the chance of developing SAD. Because of where Edmonton is located on the map, and because of the decrease of light, um, it's amazing how many people actually have the problems, the symptoms of SAD, and are not aware that they may be classified as having seasonal affective disorder. About 60 people have signed up to test this device to see for themselves if it helps reduce the symptoms of depression. It's not intended to replace antidepressants or phototherapy, but researchers say this device could turn out to be another way to treat seasonal affective disorder. Now the device isn't cheap. The entire unit will cost you about five hundred dollars. Anne hasn't bought one yet, but she is seriously considering it. Giselle Bernardo, ITV News at eleven. There are several symptoms associated with seasonal affective disorder. They include depression and tiredness. Weight gain could also be a sign. Some people pack on twenty to forty pounds over the winter months. And believe it or not, a strong craving for carbohydrates is also a warning sign for SAD. If you want to take part in the study to see if the flashing light unit will work for you, call four five zero three seven two nine. This is a treatment for to relieve seasonal affective disorder. Thousands of Canadians become depressed every winter because of a lack of light. Lisa Murphy tries to get as much daylight to help with her moods. Five years ago, things started to finally make sense. Every September, she becomes very tired, she gains weight, and by January, she can hardly drag herself out of bed. It's hard to just function on a daily basis because, truthfully, I would just sleep all the time if I could. Murphy is part of a study investigating how light and sound affect her disorder. After a few minutes, she's already feeling better. As we're flashing those lights and the depression is lifting, she's also relaxing at the same time. And uh, that's what the lights will be doing. And I'm hoping that it'll, it'll instill a fairly permanent change in her brainwave. A chart will track Murphy's depression until summer. Researchers say that therapy is a non-drug way to treat the disorder. The equipment can cost up to $700.